Hello friends, welcome back to Blocktrite. In this video, we will be learning about function modifiers in Solidity. In the last videos, I have covered about multiple topics on Solidity which will help you as a Solidity for beginners. Uh, please, if you have not checked out those videos, please go ahead and check it out. And if you like the content, please like, share and subscribe for more. So uh, let's move ahead and uh, we'll, we'll look at how modifiers work in Solidity. So modifiers are powerful tools that allow us to add reusable and secure functionality to our smart contracts. Today we'll explore how modifiers work and how to use them effectively in Solidity code. So basic uh, syntax of a modifier is you write modifier keyword and then uh, you say the function name or a modifier name and then you write your condition whatever you want to uh, let's move ahead and um, uh, let's look at an example let's try to mimic a bank account and uh, see how uh, we can use modifiers so uh, let's move ahead and let me start by creating a function and i would name it as deposit and then what I want to deposit is uh, UINT and amount. Now uh, I want to make it as public and uh, I want to return uh, returns balance. So balance would be UINT and yep. So this is how uh, we create the function. Now uh, let's go ahead. Uh, okay, so for the balance, we need to declare one variable. Let's create one variable which is um, uint, create it as public for now and use it balance. So, yep. Now what we do is we take a balance equals to balance plus the amount so this is it now uh, we return the balance okay so let's also create one more function which is function withdraw draw withdraw and what do we want to okay it is the same thing so we'll take this 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 yep let's take the whole thing okay so now what we have done is okay so withdraw would be minus the amount and balance would uh, deposit would be plus the amount so now what we have done is we have created an account we are, we are trying to mimic a, a deposit and a withdrawal now uh, i just want uh, so what is uh, this is the normal route which we want uh, which uh, which we create the problem with this code is basically anyone who calls this function, anyone who just passes an amount or any UINT, uh, a number or a UINT digits uh, to this function can make changes to your balance. What we want is we want the we want only the owner to make changes in uh, your account balance or deposit money or withdraw money o uh, only the owner should be able to do that so uh, if you go via normal route what we would do is we would say a require owner okay so let me also declare one uh, variable which is address and let's create it as public for now and owner let's create it as message dot send so what happens basically uh, whenever this contract gets uh, called it would uh, create the owner as message dot sender and what we would do is we would check if message dot sender not equals to the uh, the owner message dot sender then we would say not the owner now let's go ahead and copy this code into this function as well so yep so this is the normal route guys what you would do is basically in this what we are trying to do is we are trying to uh, so someone who calls this deposit function should be the owner and if he is not the balance amount won't change and uh, let's go ahead and deploy this thing so you will have a fair idea now what I'm trying to do is uh, so I have deployed this code via C4 and let me make the changes via C2 address. 
so uh, so address over here is uh, cb2 now when when i do a deposit it would okay just a minute it would say not the owner so this is not the owner but if i do it via c4 right yep so this is how you see uh, the uh, the uh, the changes has been done and if you want to see i would show you the balance as well and similarly if i do a withdraw of 10 let's do a withdraw of 10 the so balance has become zero so this is how uh, you go a normal route but how can we improve our code using modifiers so what additional things a modifier helps you is basically it allows you to add reusable and secure functionality so secure functionality uh, this is how you can secure functionality but uh, how you can add reusability now what we would do is we would create a modifier which, which would be like we would say like modifier and name it as only owner and uh, now what we do is let's take this and yep and let's keep this condition into our modifier okay and uh, end it saying this okay now how so this is how you create modifiers modifiers uh, you write the keyword modifier the function name and then you write the condition whatever you want to check in it and then you write a underscore and then a semicolon so underscore here represents whatever code you want to uh, want it to execute after executing this condition so basically let's uh, use this modifier once only owner and yep so this is how you can use this function now uh, i have removed that particular condition in the code and let's do one more thing let's remove the condition from here as well so uh, now you would see the difference so now let's go ahead and deploy this so let's go ahead and deploy and uh, now what we do is uh, basically we have deployed the code via this address c4 and uh, let's deposit 10 uh, uh, ethereum uh, ether and then uh, let's uh, change the code to this uh, this the address to cb2 now when we do a deposit right so now you see what happens it says not the owner we have achieved the same functionality using a modifier now what changes it has done is basically so before uh, entering into this function right so it has uh, sent the control to this modifier and it says before executing this function you should ex execute this function so this is the whole and sole uh, use of a modifier where uh, where it helps you to uh, add reusability and also a secure security layer so that no one can uh, no one tries to mess up your functions so uh, here what we are doing is now here as well we can use the same function and uh, this is how you use uh, modifiers in solidity so uh, by using a only this uh, only owner modifier here what we have done is we have reduced the reusability of the code so uh, we were writing the require line here as well and it we were writing it here as well so in this functions so this is how you use modifiers now uh, there is one more uh, change which we can do is basically uh, we can also uh, send variables to this particular modifier so we can do one one more thing is basically we can send values to our modifier so uh, based on those values we can check uh, whether the, uh, the conditions are met or no so let's take an example of it like uh, we uh, okay so what do we do is we should not withdraw the balance if the withdrawn amount is greater than the balance how you can achieve that is basically you write require we would write like balance greater than equal to amount we would say uh, insufficient balance 
okay so this is the uh, condition where what we are doing is we are checking whether the withdrawn balance is uh, withdrawn amount is greater than the balance and if it is greater what we would say insufficient balance now uh, to do this right what you can do is you can create one more modifier check balance and what you do is basically you pass on the value of amount amount okay and you say the same thing here okay if balance is greater than equal to okay okay one more thing which i forgot is unt amount Ah, okay. The body does not contain underscore. Yep. So this is how you can use the check balance. And bef uh, now, uh, to remove this condition from here, we just need to say check balance. And in this, we would pass. Okay. So in this, we have passed the amount. and uh, now what it would do is before withdrawing the balance right it would check if the balance is greater than so let's go ahead and uh, deploy this functionality let's go ahead and deploy it uh, we say we we check is we uh, let's deposit 100 ethers and yep i think so we have deposited it now ch let's check the balance now uh, let's withdraw 101 so when do we when we withdraw right so we get uh, we get a revert say a require saying insufficient balance this is how you use modifiers in solidity and uh, they are very powerful in cases where you want to add reusability or you want a security layer so that you uh, no one messes up with your functions so this is it on uh, modifiers uh, if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below i am most happy to answer them and if you like the content please like share and subscribe for more thank you